Hello! Welcome to the Polyglot Files. My name is Michael and today we're doing a video about the four things your language teacher wants to tell you but probably won't. Before we get started though, I would like to invite you to check out my Instagram account. Invite you? That sounds kind of weird. Before we get started though, I would like to invite you to my Instagram account, The Polyglot Files, because I am going on a backpacking trip to Denmark and to Italy. If you'd like to keep up with that trip and see the cool things that I'm seeing on your phone screen, definitely head over to Instagram and follow me. Okay, let's get to the main purpose of today's video. I have been tutoring and teaching languages for about three years now, and obviously I take my tutoring seriously. I strive to do the best that I can in order to help these students succeed, but when it comes to learning a foreign language, there are some things that I've thought that I wouldn't necessarily say because they wouldn't necessarily be the nicest or the most encouraging. All right, without further ado, here are the four things your language teacher most likely wants to tell you, but probably won't. Number one, your accent at the beginning sucks. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, my accent in a language like French or Italian is nowhere near native, but at the same time, I know that my accent has gotten better over the years while I've been studying these languages. Conversely, if you're just starting with a language and you're working with a language teacher, nine times out of 10, you're probably butchering the pronunciation of that language. However, that's okay. Frankly, nobody starts a new language with a perfect accent, nor do people who have studied a language for a long, long time ever really attain a native accent. In fact, I think I was reading a study when I was in university um, it was for a phonology course, and it basically said that even though second language learners may learn a language for a long period of time, if they didn't learn the language as a child, chances are they will never get rid of their accent 100%. That means that even though you have good pronunciation in the language that you're studying, you may never actually get to a point where your accent is completely indistinguishable from a native speaker. But that shouldn't be discouraging. That doesn't mean you should stop practicing your pronunciation. You should just have patience with yourself and know that your accent is not gonna be amazing right off the bat and may never 100% be native-like. Thing number two that your language teacher wants to tell you but probably won't. Lessons may not work for you. I have seen firsthand through my own experience of learning languages that I am not somebody who learns best through lessons. Sure, language lessons can be a great way to get your feet wet in a language or to have a native speaker accurately and crisply tell you how grammar works or how things should be pronounced. But I know for me, I'm not a learner who can sit in a lecture hall or sit in a language class for an hour, two hours a day or two hours a week and learn language effectively. In the language learning community, there is this push to go out and find a language course or find a language teacher and learn the language that way. However, as a language teacher, oftentimes I have wanted to say to students, lessons aren't going to work for you because this just isn't the way you learn. Perhaps something less committal is for you. Maybe instead of sitting in the classroom every single day for an hour, you're better learning by downloading an audio course or buying a textbook and working through the material yourselves. Heck, maybe you like 10 minute tutorials on YouTube. I like 10 minute tutorials on YouTube. Anyway. This whole rant leads us to the number three thing that your language teacher probably wants to tell you, but won't. Even if you take language lessons and they work for you, language lessons alone are not going to make you proficient in the language. That goes back to what I was saying earlier. If you only take language lessons once a week, or you take them every day, maybe for one hour, you need to supplement your language learning regimen with other materials. That means that you should be reviewing the material that you learned in class. That means that you should be downloading audio and watching videos and listening to the radio in your target language. If you just count on that one hour lesson a week or that one hour lesson a day, chances are in subsequent lessons, you're gonna spend more time reviewing the material you've already done than actually learning new things. Think of language learning like a race. 
it's not like a driver's test. You don't take a course, take the driver's test, and there you go ahead, you can drive. Instead, it's like running a marathon. You need to start somewhere, but continue to adapt your methods and continue to grow in that language so that one day when you speak to native speakers, you will be understood because you will have had all those months and even years of practicing leading up to those moments. But then again, don't leave speaking to native speakers to the end of your language learning journey. You should be speaking to native speakers from day one. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm really shy. I rarely ever speak to native speakers until I'm at a comfortable level. But I would advise you to do it anyway. Okay, I think I've spoken enough about how I think lessons can be detrimental to your language learning process. But let's talk about thing number four that your language teacher probably wants to say but won't. And that is the myth that everybody can learn a language and that everybody is inherently good at learning languages. Frankly, that's just not true. Sometimes people aren't good at learning languages. For example, I've worked with students who I've given all the methods under the sun that I know, whether it's auditory lessons, whether it's writing things down, whether it's just being engaged in conversation, and they keep falling into the exact same traps and keep having the same problems because they just haven't developed a good language learning method yet. Really, what the basis of this is, is that you have to take time to learn about yourself as a learner and learn about what works for you. Maybe you aren't good at learning languages right now, but you can learn to become good at learning languages in the future. For example, if you are an older learner, you need to realize that maybe you haven't been studying for a while. Maybe you've been out of school for a while. That doesn't mean that you are not good at learning languages anymore. Actually, that does mean you're not good at learning languages anymore, but that's okay. That means that you can rediscover how it is that you learned back in the day and what works for you now. Maybe you aren't good at learning languages because you refuse to practice. I don't want to name any names, but this person will know who I'm talking about. We have a very close relationship. This person wanted to learn a language but didn't necessarily want to put in the time and energy into practicing. That's not how it works. You will be bad at learning languages if you don't remain consistent, determined, and you don't persevere to attain the level of fluency that you want. I've railed about this before, and I'll rail about it again. Learning a language on one word a day is not possible. We live in a very clickbaity, instant gratification society, and language learning will not happen in instant gratification. You will not just be able to like plug your phone into your ear and all of a sudden like, oh, I speak Danish. That's not a thing. Language learning takes time. Don't believe anybody or any app or any company that tells you otherwise. Okay, I think I've ranted enough. I think you've got the gist. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Twitter. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as usual, thank you for watching the Polyglot Files. I will see you next time. Bye!